Well, it's Saturday. Good day to take it easy and not do anything. One day I don't have to work on the farm. So maybe we can go fishing. You don't have to do anything around here, hopefully. I don't think I have to. Oh, I don't have time to play video games. Yeah. I would prefer that y'all get your chores done. Garbage needs to be taken out. Weeds need to be pulled in the flower beds. Someone needs to check the sprinkler system. What about the grass? Luckily, the grass, all I gotta do to the grass today is fertilize it. And yeah, I'll get to the other chores later. Saturday morning chores, nobody wants to do them, but we all have leaves to sweep, weeds to pull, at least not in the grass. Fertilizer to spread, the list goes on and on. At least in my empire yard, I don't have to do much to the grass. As you see, I'm the lazy sod farmer that doesn't want to work in his yard when he comes home. I'm just like the cobbler whose kids have no shoes, the plumber who has leaky faucets, the mechanic whose car doesn't run. I'm no different. I don't want to work in my yard, and luckily I don't have to. At least not as often as the average homeowner. That's why I like Empire. So is my yard perfect? No. Is my grass perfect? No. But it looks pretty darn good. Do I need to fertilize this yard? Yes. Do I have a whole list of other chores to do in the yard? At least all I've got to do is fertilize this week. What all do you have to do? So we just got done fertilizing the yard. One last chore. So to should do. I run my sprinkler system before or after I put fertilizer out? Let your sprinkler system stay on its normal uh, pattern that you you run, um, you know, your weekly or, or bi-weekly pattern, and you'll be fine. Sometimes it's a good idea on delicate flowers and on turf grass um, to put a light application of water behind it. But as a general rule, you can just wait till your your normal pattern. Why did you stay in the middle of the yard and not go all the way to the edge when you were putting fertilizer out? Well, there's no reason to fertilize your driveway. and There's no no need to fertilize your, your flowers with the same fertilizer you're putting on your yard. It's a different fertilizer and all you're going to do is promote weeds and, and pollute by putting it on your driveway. Another area you want to be aware of is any waterways, storm drains, any areas where fertilizer is going to get where it doesn't need to be. We all want to do a good job to keep our environment clean and that's just, just one way that we can avoid any issues. You know, I am no fertilizer expert, that's for sure. The best advice I can give you as far as what to do and when to use is to touch base with your local extension service or your local university for the best advice. There's a lot of new fertilizer ordinances out there that we can't keep track of as, as a sod company. But the best advice is to either use a lawn professional that knows, understands what they need to be, be applying at what time, or if you're gonna do it yourself, get with your local extension service or the university and get it, your advice from them. Once again, this is Council Growers. Thank you for watching. You know, lazy sod farmers do like to fish, so now that we got our chores done, we're going to go have some fun. Alright, can somebody bring some drinks and some food?